students welcome to our youtube channel we will discuss the first chapter of our physics concept electricity as we discussed we can expect seven marks in electricity chapter how that seven marks can be divided here you can observe few definitions we have now we will discuss one by one the first one is electric circuit what is mean by electric circuit a continuous and closed path of an electric current is called electric circuit okay here you can observe this is a electric circuit this is continuous and closed path okay given here the key is closed how to represent the key means by writing the open bracket if you are writing a dot inside the open bracket that is the representation of the key is closed that's why we are mentioning here a continuous and closed path of an electric current here the electric current is flowing okay that's why we are defining electric circuit as a continuous and closed sir closed path of an electric current and the next one is electric current what is meant by electric current before discussing about the electric current here we have a circuit here we have a cell the combination of cells and battery what is meant by battery here the battery is the combination of cells here you can observe there are three cells in the battery this is one cell two and three how to represent it means we have to write the parallel lines one is a taller line one is a shorter line okay here the first first if you are starting from the taller line you have to end with the shorter line this is a battery the combination of three cells here actually the electrons are flowing from negative terminal to positive terminal okay the electrons are traveling they are moving from negative terminal to positive terminal but the conventional current direction of the conventional current is from positive terminal to negative terminal actually we are considering the direction of the electric current is from positive to positive terminal to negative terminal but the direction of the motion of the electrons from negative terminal to positive terminal and now what is meant by electric current electric current is the rate of flow of electric charges how to write the mathematical form of the electric current observe the definition here the rate of flow of electric charges electric current is denoted by the letter i here i we can write i is equals to q divided by t the rate of flow of electric charges electric charges what is meant by q here q is nothing but electric charge t means with respect to the time by definition here we have the mathematical form of electric current i is equal to q divided by t what is meant by q here q is nothing but electric charge what is meant by t t is time or time taken this is the mathematical form of electric current how we are writing this mathematical form by the definition the rate of flow of electric charges electric charges is in the numerator the rate of means with respect to the time that is in the denominator this is the mathematical form of electric current now what is the si unit of electric current if you are considering the formula i is equals to q divided by t you have to write the unit of electric charge in the numerator and the unit of time is in the denominator then you will get the si unit of electric current the unit of the si unit of electric charge is coulomb and the si unit of time as we know it is second and this is the si unit of electric current coulomb per second but in the name of the scientist ampere we are naming this one by the new word ampere we are naming this one as ampere coulomb per second is nothing but ampere by this also they can frame one more question what is that means what is mean by one ampere how to define one ampere here it is very easy to define one ampere see here to make it one we have to make numerator one and denominator one if you are making numerator one and denominator one then the electric current will become one ampere then how to define one ampere in a conductor 
if one coulomb of charges flows in one second is defined as one ampere observe here how we can define one ampere in a conductor if one coulomb charge flows in one second we are defining this as one ampere one ampere means see here one coulomb of charge is flowing we know coulomb is the unit of charge in the second is unit of time if one coulomb of charge flows through the conductor in one second we can say that is one ampere that is one ampere this is the most repeated question in your question paper define one ampere one ampere is one coulomb of charge flows through the conductor in one second that's it here we have potential difference what is meant by potential difference this potential difference is caused for the flow of electrons there the flow of electric current this potential difference is the reason for the flow of electric current there how then what is the definition of potential difference the potential difference between the two points is the amount of work done in bringing a unit positive charge from one point to another point observe here the potential difference between the two points see if you are using the word potential difference if you are using only potential difference it is wrong you have to mention between the two points or between the terminals of the conductor you have to mention this sentence with that then only it is meaningful the potential difference between the two terminals is the amount of work done in bringing a unit positive charge from one point to another point it is the amount of work done in bringing a unit positive charge from one point to another point within the electric field that is called the potential difference now according to the definition of the potential difference we can write the mathematical form of potential difference also as we written the mathematical form of electric current how to write the mathematical form of potential difference observe the definition it is the amount of work done in bringing or in carrying a unit positive charge from one point to another point okay v how to denote the potential difference means here you can observe by the letter v capital v v is equals to what the definition is saying it is the amount of work done in bringing a unit positive charge by that we can write w divided by q v is equals to w divided by q is the mathematical form of potential difference then what is mean by v we know it is a potential difference then what is mean by w w is work done and what is mean by q as we know earlier it is electric charge it is in the denominator now you may get confused here in the electric current we have q in the numerator but here the q is in the denominator observe that one v is equals to w divided by q where w is a work done and q is a electric charge again now what is a si unit of electric charge as we discussed here we found the si unit of electric current by substituting the units of the given physical quantities in the same way we can find the unit of potential difference also here how to find that one first write down v is equal to w divided by q we know that the mathematical form of the potential difference here that is v is equal to w divided by q what is mean by w that is a work done in the numerator and q electric charge in the denominator now write down the unit of si unit of work done in the numerator and the si unit of electric charge in the denominator then we are getting the new unit for the potential difference that is for work done as we know joule is the si unit of work done and for electric charge it is coulomb joule per coulomb is the si unit of potential difference like here you can also for electric current we have coulomb per second the coulomb per second we name the new word ampere in the same way the joule per coulomb this is a, this is one of the si unit of the potential difference we can name this one as volt same way here coulomb per second is named as ampere 
Here, Joule per Coulomb is named as volt. This is volt is also the SI unit of potential difference. Either you can write Joule per Coulomb. If you are writing Joule per Coulomb, it is not wrong. According to the mathematical form, it is correct only. But we are naming a new word for this that is volt. Joule per Coulomb or volt. Any one you can write. Here also for electric current, Coulomb per second you can write or ampere you can write. Both are also correct. While writing, you have to take it. If you are writing 10 ampere, 10, if you are denoting the unit by a single letter, you should write the capital letter. If you are writing 10 ampere in the form of word means, you should use the small letter. Here also, 10 volt or 15 volt means, 15 use a capital V. If you are writing 15 volt in the form of word means, 15 use a small V. This you should know. This rules we have to follow while writing the SI units. This is about the potential difference. And now, one word. Define one word. How we define one ampere in the same way we have to define one word. How to define one word? Just consider the mathematical form of the potential difference. What we have there, you can observe. Work done divided by charge, electric charge. That is equal to volt. It is nothing but joule per coulomb. If you are making work done as one joule here, work done as one joule and electric charge as one coulomb, then it will become one volt. Then how to say the definition for one volt? One volt is defined as when one coulomb, one joule of work is done in carrying a one coulomb of charge. Observe here, what is one volt? One volt is one joule of work is done in carrying one coulomb of charge is called one volt. It is very easy to remember also. If you forgot, just write down this one. W divided by Q is equals to J by C is equals to volt. And make this one as one one. What is one? One joule. One joule is work done. One joule of work is done in carrying one coulomb of electric charge that is called one volt. That is one volt. And the next definition is heating effect of electric current. Before discussing about the heating effect of electric current, we should know why the object is heating, it is getting heat. We should know why it is. It is because of its resistance. When an object can get heat means when it is having high resistance. This is very very important. When an object is having high resistance then only it can convert all the electrical energy into heat energy. This is very important. By using this, we can easily define the heating effect of electric current. If the given conductor is purely resistance, if it is having appreciable resistance, means more resistance, then it will convert all the electrical energy into heat energy. That is called heating effect of electric current. Electric current has many effects. Electric current can have magnetic effect. In the chapters we know, we discussed already the second chapter is magnetic effect of electric current. The same way, it is also one of the effect of electric current. And what is that? When you are passing an electric current to a conductor which is having appreciable resistance, means which is having more resistance, then it can convert this electrical energy into heat energy. Then only, if that conductor is not having Appreciable resistance means it won't convert this electrical energy to heat energy. The electric current will easily pass through that. Because of that resistance, it is not allowing the electric current to pass through that, but it is converting this electrical energy to heat energy. We know the law of conservation of energy. Energy can either be created or be destroyed. Here also, the same thing is happening. The electrical energy is not destroying there because of the high resistance, but it is converting that electrical energy into heat energy because of high resistance, because of appreciable resistance that is heating effect of electric current.